The future of warfare may well be here. Uh, today, the Navy demonstrated their now fully functional laser system armed and operating on the USS Ponce. Here's a demonstration. Thank you. So what you saw in that video was a demonstration video where they shot down a couple of different types of targets, drones, uh, small ships. Uh, and what they did was they mounted this, uh, this laser system on one of their phalanx. It's one of their close defense weapons oh. that we mount on our Navy ships. Are you getting excited? Because you said phalanx. Exactly, yeah. No, it's exciting stuff. Let's learn a little bit more about it. The laser weapon is 30 kilowatts in power, which makes it 30 million times more powerful than a handheld laser pointer. It can be run at low power to dazzle, which disrupts or damages sensors and instruments, or at full power to destroy targets. And according to Rear Admiral Matthew Clunder, who's the head of uh, naval research, he says, we're not testing anymore, it's working. If we have to defend the ship today, we will use the laser to destroy a threat that comes. And so effectively, it can now be used to take down both, um, both targets on the water, missiles coming in, drones and things like that. It's not strong enough yet to take down like a larger ship or a plane necessarily, um, but it can do quite a bit of damage. You seem a bit skeptical. I just think it's very silly that we're still talk we're talking about lasers, and you're getting uh, excited about it like uh, Mike Myers. Like <laughs> exactly. You're, you're, I, I you're, think everyone deserves a warm meal. No, uh, like I like the, also the, what is it? Thirty thousand times more effective than a laser pointer. Thirty million times more effective than laser pointer. <laughs> the laser pointer is not effective at all. Like, I, mean, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the laser pointer is like where you point and be like, where yeah. you you know point you to know, the screen. You know, people get arrested I know, and yeah, sentenced but, to mm -hmm. very very long uh, <coughs> sentences for pointing for misuse a laser. of a laser pointer. Yeah. 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 There was one guy in California who got sentenced to 10 years behind bar for pointing it at a police helicopter. Yeah. Really? In Fresno, and California. And that one was less effective than this. Mm. But no, it may seem kind of ridiculous that we need this sort of thing, but it is important for protecting, uh, protecting ships, especially in dangerous areas. It's probably not a coincidence that they were testing this system fairly close to Iran. Um, we've seen ships in fairly recent past in American history destroyed by uh, suicide bombers operating on small boats. Those could be shot down. Missiles could be shot down. Targeting what do you mean? They our ships. Be shot down with guns as well. It's that we were not. Yes, theoretically, for it. but this is this is uh, much more accurate. That's what they're saying. Um, now, also here, okay. If you're not sold, let me let I mean, me give you cheaper. one more of the selling points cheaper, of this. But mostly, it is cheaper. Let's talk about how cheap it is. The price of firing or the flyaway cost of a missile, uh, Clunder said, can be as much as two million dollars for each shot, while the flyaway cost of the laser system is just the price of the electricity it takes to power the device or about 59 cents per shot. Everything about that is horseshit. Which uh, part of it is horseshit? All of it. That it costs that much to fire these missiles? These missiles well, are Well, first of all, it's, if it's true and it costs $2 million to fire a missile, stop firing missiles. We've been saying that for years, since the beginning of the Iraq War. Those that, cruise missiles that we were firing off all, all flippantly were more than a million dollars for every missile. You can't find a cheaper way to destroy an entire country? <laughs> Like, figure it out. They That's are, too they're, expensive. They're incredibly advanced in there. Nothing defense. is, not, there is no price comparison in the history of the world where two things solve the same problem and the difference is $2 million and 59 cents. Well, bear in mind, it does cost a lot to install this on a ship. It costs $40 million to install on the ship, although they believe Yeah, and maybe then $40 million dollars every time it breaks. I don't know what it is. <laughs> this is not a giant bonanza for the American taxpayer. I take it you didn't enjoy Star Wars as a young man. I actually didn't. I saw it three times because that's I felt it. obligated to because I was mm -hmm. 10 in 1977 and that's what people did. Yeah. Um, but I was like, yeah, I got it. Just, I got it. This okay. is silly. <laughs> well, well, I, I, <laughs> this is silly. This might also be 
pretty <laughs> silly. But bear in mind, this also raises some human rights concerns. Under Protocol 4 of the Geneva Convention, added in 1995, laser weapons are currently banned for use against humans. Would you it's all well it? and good for the Navy to say that they're not going to directly target humans with this, but they will be targeting vehicles that could well have humans inside, and so it's not unlikely that at some point no, no, we'll violate only, the Geneva we're Convention. We're only going to use them uh, on speeding, empty boats. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's not impossible with remote control that you could do that, but...